Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can disassemble uh, HP Presario. The model is uh, CQ61. Uh, the laptop have a graphic card issue and actually doesn't work. But uh, since there is not a lot to do today, I decided to make a video because uh, I haven't got any disassembled videos for a HP laptop. And uh, the Presario is not very easy to be disassembled, so let's get started. Now the battery is missing because the laptop got uh, problems, obviously. Also the hard drive and the memory, they are not here. But the procedure is the same, so normally if we have a battery, we have to remove it first. Then we start removing all the screws on the service covers. In here, there should be a memory and a hard drive, but they are missing, like I said. Yeah, just the cover is here, no hard drive. Now the next thing we gotta do is disconnect the Wi-Fi module because uh, it's held on the plastic and we have to remove the board and it should be a problem. And after that remove the screws for the hard drive. Like this, normally you should slide it up front and pull it out. Uh, now the next step, like I usually do, I remove all the screws on the back. So I don't have to flip the laptop. Just remove the optical drive first. Like this. After that, start removing the screws. They should be the same size. Only you can uh, you can separate the screws for the keyboard. They're pretty much the same size, but it will be easier for you. There is a uh, two screws here for the keyboard, and you can. Uh, put uh, on the side the screws underneath the battery because they are shorter than the others. All other screws are the same, so it's not a problem. We're gonna remove the screws from here. Like this, now the two screws for the keyboard, we're going to put them on the side. And the screws underneath the battery. Obviously they are shorter, but Like this, here we have also two screws for the keyboard, they have a sign. If it's easier for you, you can uh, place the screws in some order, so when you try to reassemble it, just start using the, uh, you know, the screws for a uh, 
the way you place them. Now let's check. Did we remove all the screws? Yeah. So right now, the thing we gotta do first remove the keyboard. I'm gonna use my tool like this. Just be careful. They got a little clips like this. Now unlock the keyboard connector. Now we have to remove the cable here and the one that is holding the side USBs. We have one screw underneath the keyboard. Now the next thing is start pulling the plastic. Uh, first thing you gotta do is remove the black cover here because there is more bolts underneath. Start pulling from the up like this. Then remove it. Now the next step is we have to remove the display because the display is above the, the upper plastic so it should be a problem. First disconnect the LCD cable like this and as you remember we disconnect the Wi-Fi module we have to remove the cables here and the cable for the camera I guess like this because they are connected to the display and we have to remove them also. Now we have to remove four screws, two on each side of the laptop display. It's a good idea to have a magnetic screwdriver because you have to remove the screws, you have to hold the display so a magnetic driver is very helpful in this case. Now the next step, just lift the display up and put it someplace on the side. Uh, now, let's see. Yeah, there is one screw in here on the, on the left of the laptop just remove it and now we have to start pulling the plastic it's much easier if you start from the battery with something sharp of course like this gently be careful not to break something Sorry, it's not on focus. Uh, once you loosen the, the back side, you can start pulling the plastic up. You can do it uh, first. We have to disconnect the touchpad cable. Sorry, I forgot. Like this. Now start pulling slowly. You can do it one side at a time or both sides. It's which is very it's which is easier for you. Now we remove the touchpad plastic here. Now the only thing we gotta do now is remove the board. Uh, but before that you have to remove one of the speakers and disconnect the connector because one of the speakers is uh, above the fan and it's it's impossible to remove the board. Now we're gonna disconnect the audio connector here which is for the board. Uh, this one we disconnected earlier and the, the power jack connector here like this 
Now the next thing is we gotta um, screw a little more things. Uh, one in here, and I think that's it. I yeah. Now the next thing we lift the board up and slide it a little bit on the right. Let me find something to put it. That's the board. Now the next thing, of course, disconnect the fan cable and unscrew the bolts which are holding the cooler. Uh, once everything is loose, just remove the cooler, and basically, that's the whole procedure. After that, clean everything in here, put the new thermal paste, reassemble the cooler, and start the assembly on the reverse hope you like the video like and subscribe if you like it bye bye for now